for telling me he, he uh, knew how to sing like that. Right. He did not tell me that. I was just at the radio station. Or like, what was that at the radio station with y'all? It was, it was over a month ago. Okay. You know, y'all had how many of these? I, I, I would have loved to come and check it out, man, but, you know, they didn't tell me about it. You know, and I didn't know Ron could sing like that. I'm not have some words out there on church premises. Uh, no, but uh, I do appreciate you all for having me. Let me get this timer started. Ron gave me a time limit that I do not want to go over. Go over to me. You say that, but then I'm going to get stuff thrown at me. All right. So my name is Eric Austin, and I am a motivational speaker. Uh, I'll just tell you all a little about me uh, first before I get into my uh, subject. Basically, it's my subject that I'm going to speak about is overcoming your, your, basically, your everyday abilities. Basically, you know, whatever you're going through is not you. Right. That's basically what I want to speak about. But I'm 25 years old. Uh, my senior year in high school, uh, I was out with my friends. We were on our way home from a party. You know, everything was going good. Everything was going smooth. We're on the highway on 70, uh, coming back to Kansas City from Independence. And uh, we started to hear something hit the car. It sounded like little rocks just tapping the car, tapping the car. So we just going, we don't think nothing of it. Uh, little do we know we're being shot at. So the windows begin to get bust out the car and everything of that sort. And I just remember getting shot once in the back. My God. So Brandon, it's uh, my senior year. It's March 7, 2009, my senior year. Had basketball, uh, had a basketball scholarship to North Northeastern Oklahoma. Uh, was I going to go to the NBA? No. But, you know, it was good to play basketball, you know, uh, but my dream was honestly playing the NFL. Uh, so I had schools looking at me, everything of that sort, but that night I received one gunshot wound in the back and uh, put me in a wheelchair, paralyzed me. Uh, I also lost my friend by the name of Darion Murray. He was sitting right behind me, who I always believe saved my life. That bullet didn't hit him in the back of the head. I truly believe it possibly could have hit me. You know, so every time, and we also, I'm sorry, we also had two other people in the car, the driver and the person sitting behind him also received gunshot wounds as well. Uh, and it, it's, it's, it's a tragedy simply because this is things we have to deal with every day in the city that we're from. Mm -hmm. You know, people getting shot over senseless things and everything of that sort. But one thing I always feel like that was always told to me, you are not your circumstance. Mm -hmm. right. You are not your circumstance. Yes. You know, so you look at me, yes. you, you, you see somebody in the wheelchair, you know, a lot of people, they feel bad for me. They feel they feel like they have to do certain things for somebody that they see in this predicament when the real actuality is people that's hurting more than my physical ability. You know, but they truly do not know. They do, they cannot overcome their circumstance because they, they begin to develop their circumstance as a part of them. You are not your circumstance. If I can tell that to anybody, you are not your circumstance. You know, growing up in the inner city, Growing up in the inner city, you know, I grew up in a, a, a poverty-struck neighborhood. I watched my mom work two or three jobs just to uh, feed my brother and I. My brother's 28 years old. He's three, uh, three years older than me. I'm literally I'm talking to this woman work literally three jobs. You know, so I always give a, uh, my heart goes out to any single mother, any single father, anybody doing what they have to do to provide for theirs. But I literally saw this woman do this. And, and in my mind, I said, I cannot have this. When I, when I grow older and get married and have kids, I would not allow my kids to struggle the way we did. And then my heart always goes out to my mom because she did everything that she had to do for us. So with that being said, I could have I could have had that mindset as this is my life. Yeah. This is how my life will be. Yeah. I will struggle. I will have to work two or three jobs to make ends meet. I will have to struggle to keep the lights on. I will have to call family members to bring food over to us. That could have been my mindset which a lot of people in my neighborhood has developed that mindset, which is why they're there to this very day. If I just try to get people to understand, the world wants you to get, they want you to settle. Yeah. The world wants you to accept what you've been given. The world wants you to accept what you see. But we have to get it in our mind and in our heart that life is more than about what we see. Yeah. You know, I'm a motivational speaker. I always tell people, uh, I don't quote scriptures because I don't want to get boxed in. Yeah. You know, I don't want to get boxed in. People say, oh, you're a pastor. You're a pastor. I'm not a pastor. I know the word. I live the word, but I'm not a pastor. Mm -hmm. So simply, you know, the, the Bible teaches you, do not live by your own two eyes, but see through, through the spirit, correct? Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do each and every day. But the world will put so many things in our face to make us want that. I tell people all the time, why do you think rappers look like they have so much money? Right. They really do not have this, but why do they look like they have this? 
so that young African American growing up in a poverty stricken neighborhood can want that. So when his mama told him he could be a doctor, he's telling her, no, I'm gonna be a rapper. So, so when his mama told him you could be a lawyer, he said, no, I'm gonna be a rapper. So we, we, we lose it out on these jobs that, that set forth in front of us to chase something that is, that is false. Yeah. We're chasing a false reality yeah. because we have developed that mindset to become what we see or what we are. We have become our circumstance. Yeah. So each and every day you have to keep it telling yourself, I am not my circumstance. Yeah. You know, like, like my man, he complimented me on working out. Like, I see a lot of people in the wheelchairs and, and people that I'm around. That's my brother Josh. I, I went to high school with him. Like, literally, they always say to me, why don't you look like that person in the wheelchair? Mm. I always say it was God's blessing keeping me in the way that I am, honest yeah. truth. But at the end of the day, I, sometimes I wake up at 5 in the morning. Sometimes I'm in the gym at 2 in the morning. Yeah. I have to keep myself right. Yeah. I am not my circumstance. I can make so many excuses on why I can't work out. Why I can't do this, why I can't do that. But I did not develop my circumstance as me. Yeah. That's what we have to understand. Yeah. No matter what you're going through, if you yeah. lost your job, you are not your circumstance. Yeah. Another one will come. Yeah. If you lost a family member, that is not your circumstance. Life will go on. Yeah. The, everything that happens in life is for a reason. It was not to hinder you, it was to bless you, promote you. Allow things in your life to promote you. Yeah. It wasn't until I sat down in this chair that I began to see things in a total different aspect. Mm -hmm. If I never got shot, I would never be a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. If I never got shot, I would probably be dead. Yeah. He can tell you the lifestyle I used to live. Yeah. And I didn't even get shot for doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. All the stuff I did, I never got caught for it, and I never had anybody dislike me for it. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I got shot on a mistaken identity. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, I, I always feel, don't, don't get me wrong, do not twist my words, but God did not do this to me, but I, I believe God always showed himself through this crisis. Yeah. One thing I always tell people, there's Christ in every crisis. Wow. Yes. Yes. So that's something we have to believe, that's something we have to understand, that we are not our circumstances. Yeah. So each and every day when something gets you down, you have to tell yourself, I am not my circumstance, yeah. no matter what it is. You know, people, people ask me, how, how's it living in the wheelchair? Is it hard? Is it difficult? I think I told, I told Orlando on the radio show. I said, man, I broke it down like this. Being in a wheelchair is nothing no different than somebody who has some type of birth, birth defect. I, I, I said it like this. Say if, uh, say if one of my arms were bigger than the other. Just, you know, say if one of my arms was drastically bigger than the other, it's plain and noticeable. But at the end of the day, I know life goes on. Yeah. So that's how I feel about looking in a wheelchair, about being in a wheelchair. I, some days I wish it was different, but at the end of the day, are you gonna let that right. hinder you or are you gonna let that promote you? Right. It's nothing no different. I know a lot of women are, are not satisfied with their bodies. Oh, they wish this was bigger, or they wish this was bigger, or they wish this part was smaller. But what do you have that thought and what do you do? You go on about your day. Yeah. That's how every situation should be. Like, I wish I could do this, but I can't, so I'm gonna keep on going about my day. I'm gonna do something that I can do. Right. Because you are not your situation. Yeah. Each and every day, I promise you, if you ever just tell yourself that each and every day, I am not my situation, yeah. I'm gonna repeat it time and time again so it can stick with you. Because uh, we as people, we understand the repetitive things. Yeah. It's until we stop learning something or stop reading something over and over, that's when we forget it. So I had to continue to say it so it can be repetitive, so it can stick not only in your mind, but so you can believe it in your heart. Yeah. You are not your circumstance. Yeah. So what do we do now? What do we do now? We are not our circumstance. We see all this police brutality and all of this going on, but are we that? This is not our circumstance. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna overcome this, yeah. no matter what it is. You have people in, in, in Uniform, that's bad. You have people in sales, that's bad. You have people in churches, that's bad. We cannot look at one job perfection and, and, and think that everybody's negative. You know, now we have put their situation on their lifestyle. Now you got people getting killed over something they did not do, anything of that sort. Because they have became their situation because of what we believe. So we really have to believe in, in, and understand each and every day. We are not our circumstance and better ourselves, better the world. We're never supposed to live each and every day for ourselves. We're supposed to live for other people. I can do everything I want to do for myself. I can go be out and be a billionaire. I can go make every move I need to do in my life and be a billionaire. But at the end of the day, if I'm not doing nothing for nobody else, who am I going to join that with? It's nothing. Life is more than just that. Life is more than what the world shows you. 
Life is more than what we see each and every day in our, in our everyday environment. I promise you, life is more than outside these four walls of your church. You know, a lot of people don't want, don't want you to say that, especially in the church. Life is more than outside these four walls of your church. You know, after your pastor gets done speaking with you, what do you leave? What do you go and do after you leave these four walls? You know, I, I believe, I, I tell people a lot of times, Christians are like Hot 103 James. Uh, basically what they do when Sunday comes is Christian in the morning. But as soon as you leave after afternoon, you're back to your same reality. You're back to that same gaiety music. Just terrible. We have to believe in know and understand, listen, live your life but live your life the right way and not becoming a circumstance that you see. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all can do better than that. Give it to Eric Austin. Monday videos every day on Facebook. I mean, I'm sorry, every Monday on Facebook. You can check it out on Facebook. It's called Truth. T R Y O U T H. Truth. T R Y O U T H. And like I said, I do uh, motivational Monday videos every Monday over any subject people want to give me or if I feel it on my heart to speak on that subject as well. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah.